And welcome back. This is Kotel for round two. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. We got another UEC event, and I am joined once again by popular demand from Mr. Fuji from the Force Georgia. How you doing, brother? Hello, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on again. Hey, man, you're doing great. I might just turn this channel over, man. Video, <laughs> videos with you so tend to do a lot better, so, you know, my popular demand is no lie. That's crazy. But yep, so um, we saw Fort Georgia in the uh, last match there. Um, this one is a conquest, though. It is a framing fence lines, 301 on the server pop, 148 for the CSA versus 153 for the Union. Um, so now we got a conquest map here. So um, let me actually look at the two teams first, and then we'll get into the uh, discussion. Indeed. So starting out, I'll do the Union team first. With their Artie, looks like we've got 52nd once more on the guns here with uh, Fleischer and Blind. And we've also got Jeff Davis Battery from 3rd Alabama here under Fork. Let's see, on the Union team, we've got the full NYB, the 2nd USC, 1st Virginia, 3rd Alabama, German Corps, the SB, and the TB. And they have leading them first VA under Alden, Dot Point leading SB, V Bar leading GC, Williamson leading third Alabama, Parker leading NYV, Eddie leading two USC, and Knight leading the TB. All right, now let's take a look at that C at CSA team. Yes, okay, I'm not crazy. And they have on Artie the M Bat here under Perkington. We've got VA Bat under Carlton. And the LFL under Crom, and it looks like uh, Fort Georgia as well under Carl. Indeed. So good to see the uh, Fort Georgia bat still expanding, getting some timing, getting some gun time. Yeah, and that's it in that last uh, video. Um, and we do now have a permanent artillery uh, batteries, so it's going to be fun to see what they do. Oh yeah, and looking at the infantry side, we've got Alabama German Legion, the 56th Virginia, 8th Florida, 20th Georgia, 6th Texas, the ANV, both 6th Alabama and 10th Alabama, and then the LFL and the 4th Georgia here. And leading them, we've got Max Fears for 6th Alabama, Ark for LFL, Lyferic for... The other element of A&B, Jumbo for the 20th, Georgia. AGL is led by Marius. And let's see. Who am I missing? Who am I missing? Six, Texas under Rousseau. And um, Liam for fourth, Georgia. I don't think I've seen Liam. Is that Liam? Yes, Lieutenant, second Lieutenant Liam. Um, what can you tell me about Liam? I don't think I've seen him lead before. Um... Personally, I don't think I've actually seen him lead either, but, uh, although, actually, wait, hold on, I know who that is, that's Dora. Oh, is that, okay. That's Dora, he's changed his name. Oh, okay, I was like, who the hell is Liam? <laughs> yeah, that's Dora, don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, so what can we, so what, what are you expecting from Dora for this match? Well, as you know, Dora's quite experienced in the public game, uh, stage, so... I'm expecting he's able to bring uh, some proper maneuverability, as I'm sure you might be aware. Public games are very maneuver-based, as opposed to these um, events, which typically they're less maneuver-based. Um, but I mean, we're on we're on a conquest, so everyone's going to be moving around. To be fair, and obviously because it's conquest, bayonets and sprinting are allowed right off the bat. Yep, and I think that might, uh, we'll see if that gives him an advantage. I think that gives him a bit of a leg up from some of the units that might not be used to this type of uh, open uh, maneuver type of warfare. Indeed. And then the, the, you talked about the Force Georgia before. So you guys right now, you play on uh, both EU and NA events, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Um, obviously, our numbers for the NA events are much lower, obviously, because most of us are EU. And 1 a.m. War of Rights Gaming is a little weird. Yeah, I'm gonna get thin from uh, not to mention late. But if you are able to come to those, if you are American or in that time zone, we do welcome people. Uh, I, I, yeah, I'm plugging the regiment. In. Oh no, that's a, that was a uh, you know I was I, mean, I, 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 I was teeing up the plugs. <laughs> teeing up the plug, but I mean most of the regiments here are 
well, to be fair, in these events, most of the regiments, in fact, all of these in the events, they're all good to join. Just pick and choose the ones that you feel fit you best, to be honest with you. You know, obviously, I'll say join the 4th Georgia, you know. But, you know, if you're French, you're probably better off joining the LFL because they're French. Indeed, that's one of the nice things about this event. You get all these different languages, and there's links to all the units, including the 4th Georgia, in the description. So if you enjoy, um, you know, this type of gameplay, it looks fun. And there's a lot of different gameplay that these units, like you mentioned, uh, Fuji mentioned, that uh, that people participate in. So check out those units, see which one might uh, be the best fit for you. And uh, if you join going for scalps and, uh, and you know, teeth and collecting those kinds of things, the uh, Fort Georgia and Mr. Fuji well, might be the unit for you. Oh, yes. Okay, let's see what we've actually got going on here. So the Union are going to run up the hill to the Confederate artillery. That, and the, well, the Confederates um, they taken are. the B point. Or, yeah, the Confederates have now completely taken the B point, whereas uh, the Union are going to take that artillery. Is, well, they, um, they did also send a unit to A point, so... Ah, yes, and there go, there it goes, so it's completely evened out. Um, artillery on this map is definitely going to be a bit of a difficult thing to do, just by the uh, nature of the map and the game, and how you have to move constantly. And there's Carl calling the uh, sophisticated order to run. Uh, you know, that, that uh, complex uh, doctrinal, you know, maneuver. Indeed, which is a very wise call because uh well there they go and there's eddie taking the cannon and there, there goes all of the confederate artillery they do not have artillery support well what i what i like about this maneuver by the union so they've already captured a and they have a beeline to c and that Indeed. means the uh csa is going to have to attack one direction or the other and then whichever direction they attack you can you know move towards b and seize it yeah that's correct i mean as you can see, I mean, there's nothing defending against a Union push on C other than uh, this one rather small right now. It's your, it's, 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 well, you got, you got Dora starting to move up on it a little yep. bit, but yeah. Which is probably wise to try and contest it, but I mean, there goes a volley, but I didn't really see anyone go down. Um, and Eddie's moving to uh, block him, too. Yep, he's severely outnumbered. NYV is going to take the, the C point, whereas uh, US Corps under Eddie. They're going to be able to um, fire, well, not really fire at the fourth because they didn't really have a shot, but they're there. They're there, and that is two, that's going to be two points under Union control. Well, it's two points, and you've knocked out the CSA already, which the CSA already can devastate anybody that hangs around on the C point. Indeed, that is, that is no, that's a good move by the Union. Not to mention, even though they don't have artillery up here now, they now have the high ground on the Union, so they can shoot down over all these fences into Confederate lines. I mean, I'm already seeing flags drop. Yeah. Now, I will say the A and V Lyferic from the uh, A and V Cav has seen an opening, and he is moving towards A point, which is necessary. He might have a problem here, though, with the GC. We'll see if V bar can stop him. Oh yeah, I'm seeing that. Um, is there any actual infantry here? By the Confederate artillery, sorry, the Union artillery. Yeah. Uh, very, yeah, there's, yeah, there's GC. Yeah. They, they, it's going to be up to them to stop this. It's going to be pretty key for V Bar if he can win yeah, this. Yeah, are, are they the cavalry? Um, no, no, no they're they're just uh, line infantry. But say if they were the cavalry, they could have a, a good bet. But no, yeah, they're just as regular infantry. It's going to be uh, up to the skill of the commanders here. Because I yeah. believe the Confederacy has the advantage in manpower. Yeah. I'm also going to keep an eye on Knight. Looks like he's going to try to make a play for B from the Union, but uh, we'll check up on that in a minute. We'll see how uh, V Bar does on this A point. Uh, he let him take it so far. That's not good. Yep, there goes the A point. Oh, here comes the 4th Georgia moving into uh, fire at Eddie. Although I think I think that call to climb over the picket fence rather than fire from the picket fence was a mistake by Dora because uh, Eddie's regiment, the US Corps, the 2nd US Corps, they're going to be able to um, hold that line, I think. Well, he's got support so, no. down the road, too. Yeah, that's what I mean. 
I, be I believe they sh the fourth should have stayed behind the picket fence and fired from there. And uh, the SP is going to come in. Eddie's regiment is dead, but the SP is going to come in push the fourth Georgia away. Uh, it looks like the SP stands for Snake Battalion from the hissing. Um, I always thought it was a cat hiss, but you know, I guess the SP makes sense. Ah, it's, it's, it's hissing. <laughs> it's supposed, yeah, that... it's supposed to be Serpent's Brigade, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you do get to hear some interesting battle cries uh, from all, all right. the different regiments. Obviously, so, myself included. I know I'm a bit unhinged sometimes. Oh, it's always as fun. Like I said, it's always fun. I can always tell. You know, I, I don't have to hit the you know the uh, the T key to see who everybody is. I can if I hear you know spines. I'm like, oh, that's Fort Georgia over there. Yeah, and that, that is a nice thing about um, these events. How obviously a lot of these regiments, in fact, most of them they. They, they attend every week, so you can get to know all the people, see how the regiments are, and um, get used to basically the different people and understand. And we'll get back to the action quickly. The Confederacy have retaken these batteries, and they are going to fire the cannons directly into the rear of the Union forces on the uh, hill here. SB took a direct hit here. They're going to charge back up the hill. Oh, yeah, they didn't leave a unit to make sure the Yardie was secure. No, they, both units went down the hill. Um, wisely, Confederates are going to run away after inflicting that shot. But, hey, while that was going on, though, C-Point is now going to go down. And there we go. C-Point has been neutralized. Now, Union did recover A-Point, but... Um... You know, it's it's now they got to figure out where they want to wait, either the B point or yeah. C point. This is where that that you know the conquest comes in. It's okay. Where do I wait the attack? Who defends? Oh, Warning was this you to you? Why why you get warned? What did you do? Uh, am I meant to? I know spectating unless I'm a, sp a spectator. I suppose I'm a spectator. All right. Uh, I, I I thought they knew you were recording with me. <laughs> I I would have assumed they did, but. Uh... I suppose they didn't. I'll just mark that. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, they, they were not informed. Okay. Okay. Oh, well. I, get, I, I mean, you know. <laughs> oh, well. It happens. Sometimes I've seen people get, uh, who, who are recording get kicked because they didn't know where the username was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well. So what have we got going on here? So yeah, yeah, I'll, enough of that. Yeah, so it looks like we got third Alabama making a play on yeah. B right now. Fourth Georgia, A and V, LFL, AGL. I think this is gonna be a little bit too much for third Alabama by themselves yeah, to I, take. Yeah, I mean they're not in the greatest positions here. And oh dear, that was oh, I think that was a buck and ball shot. Uh, so it looks like the um, Confederacy is using buck and ball. Yeah, they, they um, seeing some Springfields, so uh, 42, so that's going to be very devastating. Well, yeah, third Alabama's already wiped out here. They're, they're yeah, gone. Uh, Williamson's uh, smartly making a call to run away, but you know, he's dead. Um, looks like Private Milkman from my regiment is going to run after the flag, and he in turn is going to be chased by a guy, a Livonian guy, who is in turn going to be chased by Mac. Yeah, a little bit of a, you know, what was that old show? Oh. Um, anyway. <laughs> Looking on the other side, so right now the CSA is really starting to turn this around here. They're well ahead on tickets. They've got two points. Um, yeah. The C points, SB is kind of stuck yeah, between a rock and a hard, hard place yeah. right here. Indeed, and the uh, the tickets are ever so slightly Let's in the Confederacy's favor. Well, yeah, and, and with, the, with the way Conquest works, I mean, with the two... Um, it's just going to get worse for the Union. It, the the, yeah. the men around us. decline uh, will um, Indeed, yeah, that, just continue. That, attrition. That's, that's well, attri word. Yeah, that attrition, because uh, well, it's not like you've got any sort of advantage over each other in terms of tickets, I believe. And in fact, uh, Lyferic, oh, I'm sorry, Max Veers, he is looking to possibly move towards A point, or maybe at least delay this Union from moving off of A. So again, you just keep them busy. And uh, that's how you win these conquest maps here. All right, and I'm seeing Parker with New York. He's leading a mo uh, his regiment up to that Confederate artillery position again. 
Yeah, this is a really key position here for the Union to keep this already held. In, indeed, that, that artillery, I mean, if you just have a look at it, what it can see, I mean, it can, it's got shots on pretty much every point. Maybe not A point, but C and B. So no, it, it, it dominates C and B. It, it's almost impossible to take C and B. You know, well, you could take it, but you can't, you yeah. know, you're going to get hit while you're doing it. Yeah, you can take it if the artillery crew is more decent, which from the performance of them is, that is the case. You're going to be taking losses now. So it looks like Parker's going to lead a charge in uh, into the ANV who have moved to uh, counter him, which is probably a good bet. Um, so uh, he, I, I think it's I think it's good. I don't see a flag with Parker here, so even if no, you just kill I, a good I didn't majority, see one, so he's going to move in, and that is going to wipe out that defensive infantry regiment. Although I did just see a canister shot go off from uh, the VA battery. Um, but yeah, looks yeah, like yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, the nice thing is, so those guys that just stop, just died, they spawn right back at Maine, which is two feet away, yeah. and they'll come right back into the fight. Oh yeah, I mean, looks like the Union are going to. Uh, oh, looks like. Back six Texas is moving up on them right now from Maine. Yep, here they come. Six Texas, small, relatively medium sized regiment, sorry. And uh, the Union forces are quite disorganized now after that charge. They haven't really regrouped. They're running after single men. Well, uh, they, well, without the flag, no officer and NGOs are going to come back yeah. in. So you kind of just lose yeah, your command I mean, and control as you go. Yeah, I didn't think I saw a single NCO left after that charge, which is very unfortunate. Um, and the Confederacy is going to be able to completely clear up the Union here. But it did uh, allow that slight respite, even if it, it did cost them that ticket. In fact, it cost them heavily for that, actually, from looking at that. And uh, unfortunately, that small respite in the cannons hasn't really, really done anything for the, uh, the Union. Well, I mean, if if I'm Unless being generous here, you know, the C count. point they might try to take it now, but it, moving into Charlie. Yeah, the C point here is a little vulnerable, but with the Artie, again, the Artie can it's going to hit this real hard. It's going to be very hard to maintain this. Yeah, here here they come. TB, TB and SB under under dot point and night they've come in and take they're neutralizing Charlie. Two ranks on my left. Two ranks on my left. Yeah, all I heard was you yeah, we'll see how we'll see how until this already comes down here. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, Confederacy's immediately reoccupied their positions on this artillery, and I mean, I've got I've, I'm looking at two guns already pointed towards that that point. So LFL's already loading one, um, and Sixth Texas is going to move over to the C point. I just heard the call from Russo. Yep, and, and to be honest with you, uh, the already gets some good shots in here. Six Texas might be able to do it by themselves. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I mean, and the Union is now forming up in the open, which uh, oh, there it, there it hits. Flag instantly wiped out, picked up straight away. But that is a brutal hit. Yeah. Looks like First VA is coming down with some reinforcements, which uh, might help them out here a little bit. Indeed, indeed. I mean. Yeah. And there's that huge Confederate force moving in to uh, attack the sea point using the cover of the barn. Here they come. That is a oh, moving to quick time. So, oh, six Texas has rushed in for a charge. I don't. Uh, I, I would I would have held off a second, but I, I don't yeah, think it's going to matter sure all that much. That, but uh, I she guess it's distracted the Union enough that the uh, the 20th George can rush in without much of an opposition in terms of gunfire. Nope, and you can see that already has softened them up nicely, and that'll clean that up. It, it's so hard to, I mean, not only the Artie, but you also have to deal with the CSA main spawn being right there. Yeah, that's that's definitely an issue for the Union, having to deal with the Confederate main spawn. This is just a short walk away, really, and, well, as you can see what happened, Union's gone. Yeah. They're, they're I mean, they did, they did take two points, which is important. So, you know, they kind of will start getting a little bit here. But yeah, now, I mean, I, I would always argue, I mean, if, you, if now at this point, maybe you start looking for B. Um, yeah. But if oh, the CSA yeah. is too entrenched there, then just keep playing this game of... We've got it, Arca here on the hill once again, charging into the ANV. He's going to wipe that regiment out. And... Uh, Yep, he is. Better artillery position is now pretty much undefended. Yep, we'll see if they get this already shot off here from Shandar. 
Yeah, they really need to kill this artillery crew and make up for the lost tickets. Oh, that was a point blank. <laughs> that was, it didn't kill too many, but yeah. No, I saw two people got knocked over. Oh, no, but that's a hit, and I think that was friendly. Um, I... I it might have been. I, I'm not seeing a, uh, a, oh, te a team no. kill, but... I think... Oh, no. I think it might have been um, LFL's recall. artillery gun that was pointed down that area. They got a significant hit on the Union force, and I saw sure a lot of men just disappear. But anyway, V's getting ready again. Oh, another cannon shot coming in. Oh, oh, and there goes, there goes, there goes some men. They are not in the greatest of shape. And they got a flag with him, but uh, it, I, I, Park, is, I think he's making a good call, but he can't do this by himself. He needs help. Oh yeah, he made a good call in the move itself, but unfortunately he does not have the support to back it up. He's isolated. You've got Confederate regiments now moving in to counter him. I would pull out before it gets worse, because yeah. Union's already behind on tickets. Yeah, and and, and, and well, I mean, the problem is there's there's no... Um, so again, with, with Conquest, the tickets is all driven by the oh, points. And there we go. Another canister hit. That was brutal. Yeah. And you so, can just see the result of it. Yeah, this this is fine if you're making a move on another point. I now, agree. now they're making looks like some one regiment go. This is not enough though. You need more than just one no. regiment going in. Nice. No, so like there's a bit of a charge here in the yeah the cornfield. Yeah. It's like Third Alabama's going to try to eat up LFL. They kind of missed each other there. Kind of interesting. Um, they're going to be following each other through the corn. And here comes yes, so third Alabama charging into LFL. The four charges with them. Let's see, here it goes. I think the Union is going to have that charge of the tree. And uh, there is a flag there on its own, a Union flag on its own there. Yeah, it looks like uh, third Alabama won that. Ooh, that already shot those guys over yeah. there. Pretty good. So again, this is—I yeah. mean, it's—it's. It's, I would put pressure on uh, B point now, in yeah. my view. Yeah, I was about to say, Third Alabama, you've—you've you've wiped out that. You've—you've you've still got a sizable force there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, in. yeah, I mean. Unfortunately, now we've got 56, and yeah. AGL has moved into support. Six I, Texas. They—they uh, yeah. they need more than just one unit going in. It's—it's—it's it's, it's, doing okay individually, but. Yeah, I agree. Lots of excellent individual actions, but. Overall, the strategy is well. This is non-existent, to be honest with you, and well, it's plainly obvious because from what I can see, you've got different regiments doing their own thing, and again, they're making some excellent moves and pulling off some good uh, achievements. But if you really want to win the match, you're going to need to coordinate this. And uh, Confederacy just seems to be that little bit more coordinated at this point in time. In Penapar, Garrison the Snake Fence in Penapar. Uh, looks like we got A and B versus oh, First VA back along the Snake Fence on the uh, far side of here, right below yeah. the Artie. So we've got a Union oh, Force really moving into Bravo oh, here. Uh, TB, SB. So uh, that, that might be enough to do it. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, I agree. I think if yeah, I think this is going to be enough to do this. There's one more unit. If they get one more unit in, ah, uh, Third Alabama. If they kept coming in. See, they're yeah. pulling back. If, you, if Third Alabama had timed this with these guys, yeah. they would have won it well, easy. He's going to volley the 6th Texas, but unfortunately, they just did not have the numbers. I heard a charge from, a call from someone. Uh, first Sergeant Chopper daring the Confederacy to come over the fence, but... Uh, well, I mean, again, this is... They, they're going to... They're gonna, it's, it's about even. And again, with Third Alabama, they would have won this easy. Well, looks like the, uh, the Union the right, has the side the with the flag itself. They've actually started lowering it. But there's yeah, no, a nice. sizable Confederate force there. And yep. They're coming, they're coming. They're coming, boys, they're coming. Colonel Knight, he went down with the flag. Oh, but here and comes 2USC trying to help him. Oh, yeah, here comes 2 Corps. I'm not sure they have stand. the numbers to really help. I think they should have been... Well, I know it's not their fault, probably. They well, they were in the corn. It's, it's so tough. Yeah. Like, it's so tough to coordinate on this map, especially... Yeah. Here by me, here by me, yeah. I feel if they had been in there just that little bit earlier, I think they could have been turned that tide for the Union on that flank. Yeah, and I, and I go back to 3rd Alabama as well. They pull back to get their reinforcements. Like, here comes Williamson now, but now you got the CSA is going to move up another unit here in the form of 20th Georgia. That's going to hit him inside. Yeah, it's just this timing is off. 
indeed timing is just slightly disjointed and it's very unfortunate here. Uh, 20th Georgia here. Jumbo leading his men to the cornfield. Going to go into the corn. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to slam into the side here of Williamson. And that's a pretty dang good charge right there. That already coming in just in time, getting a few team kills, but I'll allow that one. Yeah, a few team kills, but that is, is a victory there for the Confederacy. Yep, total. Williamson is wiped out here, and six Texas charged into two USC. Um, looks like a mutual wipe, but even if a few guys survive from two USC, Life Eric's about to finish them off here. So, complete uh, wipe here for the uh, poor uh, Union team. Steady. Fire. Load. All right, so we've now got Parker here on the bottom of the hill again. Running. <laughs> I saw that. I think that's good. That's good. Oh, oh here we are again. We have a slight hiccup with Discord once again. Yep, Discord has been letting me down lately, but, uh, you know, it's free service. I get what I pay for, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose so. Okay, so here we have Dora. Leading his, uh, leading the fourth. And they are, it looks like they're going to face down the small remnants of the third Alabama. Uh, Sergeant Johnny carrying the flag, panicking, rightly so, because they are heavily outnumbered. Hey, uh, you see Serpentine. <laughs> Serpentine, everyone knows you move in the Serpentine fashion. Uh, I think he'll, uh, he'll, he'll get away, he'll get away. Yeah, I would say, and it has paid off for him. They took a couple losses, but nothing really significant. Well, now, I mean, you know, it's a full morale state behind, still two points yeah. for the CSA. This, this game is basically over, to be honest with you. Yeah, at this point in time, full, full morale stage, higher, and two points in your pocket, that's... I mean, you're going to need a massive miracle to turn that around for the Union, Um and but I'm just not seeing it. Oh, no, no, I'm aiming it. Not again, individual actions here, but nothing really coordinated. No, it's it's it's. Uh... Oh wait, we got four George's cannon here. He's gonna try to nail. Yeah, yeah, here they go again. I saw some point blank shots. Don't know how effective they were. I was a bit too far away. Um, but the Confederate oh, artillery is going to run away whilst you've got the Confederate line firing at them from the fence line. So that is Parker once again managing to take those cannons and yet unable to have that net opening exploited by any of the Union. No, if he had another unit with him, he could make the, that other unit could make a beeline for C. Um, you know, there's, there's still another CSA unit moving to C now, but. Still something, you know, you know, yeah, if you had like I an agree. SB or something, they might be able to fight their way through. If he had a back, if he had a back up here, uh, he could have sent a unit over to see. Um, but unfortunately, it's too late now and there's no one near him. And uh, who's this? The 20th Georgia are going to move in and completely lock down C, preventing anything happening to it. Uh, really, the, the CSA could just be on the defense now. Just hold on to B and C. You don't yeah, even need to really raid it. I think anymore. that's what they are. I think they're just playing on the defensive here, and unfortunately, once again, Parker, excellent move on his own part, but uh, it's not going to really pay off. Peaks and swing left, peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys, swing left, peaks and valleys. Swing it left, swing it left. I don't like to uh, call games a little bit early, but uh, I think this is it. I think the Confederacy is going to take this one. Yeah, and something major's got to change. It's got to be a major shift. I agree. Which, again, is possible. It is possible. But it's going to take some serious teamwork, and... You know, I don't know. Form on defense, boys. Yeah, I suppose it's the nature of... This map is very large, very disjointed, and... The game mode itself, Conquest, you're having to catch these points. I mean, here's, here's third Alabama here. 
now attacking the B point. Well, this is not a bad little attack here by three units. This, this, you know, you, you need to see more of this. You need to see. Uh, yeah, I agree. This is what we need to see more if they, if the Union really, yeah, really it's, takes. It, you might not be able to coordinate yeah. with the whole team, but if you can get two, three, even four units working together, you, you could do a lot. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, the Union have this advantage in manpower now. Um, SB and Flood Alabama alone match the AGL opposing them across the road. And then the TB over here managing to shoot into the side. Oh, it's a good flanking position by them. They're doing a lot of damage. Some excellent maneuver, and there's a Confederate flag on the floor. Union already coming in, but now here's the CSA. They, they're coming and bringing up reinforcements. It's not just about how the one, you know, Union might be messing up. CSA is doing pretty well. They Indeed. are. CSA is performing extremely well this game. They're very coordinated. They react well to what happens. Uh, Parker here on the hill. He's still holding. Oh, no, it's not Parker. That's Who is that up there? Huh? It was someone else. But they're going to get charged out, and I think that's going to be the end of the uh, NYV once more. They're going to be wiped on this hill. Yeah, I mean, I, I still don't mind that, though, because as long as you keep the Artie out of, out of commission for a little bit, maybe you can take B-point. Yeah, I mean, if you have a look at the actual artillery guns themselves, they're not even pointed down at B or C. They're pointed towards the direction that Park's attack came from, which is going to delay any fire coming down from there onto Union forces, which yeah, is definitely... Yeah, now, now we got a general melee here on B as they try to get this flag down here. Again, yeah. this, this is... They're improving. This is better. This is much better yeah, from the uh, Union. TV on the other side of the road, providing fire support while Third Alabama and... Yeah, Third Alabama all on that flag, and there he goes, it's been neutralized, but look at that, look at that morale stage, that's, that's not looking good. No, no, this is, well, they're improving, which is good, this is, you know. That's we need... an improvement, and they definitely, definitely did a good move there, everyone coordinated well to take that B point, but unfortunately I feel they waited a little bit too long to start doing something like that, and that's going to put them very far behind the Confederacy. Yep, no, I agree, it might be a little bit too, a little too late, but, um, you know. This for future. This is this is what you guys need to do, <laughs> in my opinion. And again, fog of war. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can't really see what everyone else is doing, so yeah, you should probably end up trying sticking close together, or within visual distance. Yeah, you don't you don't need to blah, but you know it's again like okay, you know, hey, us two units, you know, three units, all right, let's work together. You know, we're gonna generally be together. Well, it's not even that. I mean. I, if you're at least in visual range, you can get an idea of what the other regiment's doing. They charge in. You don't really need a runner to say that they're charging in. You can charge well, yeah. in. I mean, I mean, yeah, we, we just saw it, actually. SB saw yeah. Third Alabama needed help, and they moved in to help them. Yeah, and that's the Confederacy wiped out in Bravo, so that's good work there by the Confederacy, and they're going to take a defense position here to defend Bravo. Uh, well, it's the Third Alabama. They're going to move out. Oh, there's going to be a small charge by the Confederacy, but they do not have the numbers. No, they don't, and I think they're going to pull back. He might be, uh, Max Fears just might be trying to distract SB a little bit, kind yeah, of drag him off into the corner. Either distract, or maybe he thought they were friendlies. Uh, that might That's possible, too. So now Williamson's on the move here, heading for C. Uh, yeah. To be honest, this is the kind of aggressive move you're going to need to do if you want to win. Yeah, and I mean, if you look at it, there's no one really opposing you. I mean, you've got that small Confederate unit crossing that mud field there. But I don't think they've actually spotted him. They're, they're, they're walking the other way now. No. So, I mean, the, the thing about the conquest mechanic is, you know, they'll put them on to, uh, if they take all three points, you know, you'll be put on to counterattack for three minutes. And if you can hold yeah. a defense on one or more of the points, you know, you can win that way. I agree. It, it's risky, but it's, it's you don't have a choice anymore. You got to. <laughs> well, yeah, you've got to do that. And I've just seen how many Confederate flags have dropped in this Bravo point. I mean, look at this. You got that's three Confederate flags dropped in B. That's going to give the Union that slight advantage. Yep. SB's going to move to form a defense here with TB uh, against the Confederate forces, 20th Georgia and 8th Florida. Yeah, the big problem is no one's. Oh, here we no, go. No Parker moving uh, his regiment across the field. So that's a good move, although I'm watching uh, the A and V element that we were talking about before, too. They've snuck up behind and might try to decap. Oh, that. yeah. Oh, yeah. They've they've moved up behind, and they're, they're going to move. SB is now out of Bravo. position. Yeah, SB should have. 
needs to turn back and help. Well, they've, they've brought the Confederacy down to that take and loss, but if you look at the tickets, they're basically a whole morale stage behind. No, they are, but again, you got you got Williamson on C. Yeah, Parker's wiped out the uh, the attack there. He's moving on to that fence line. He's going to now shoot at the Confederate units, moving to reinforce. Yeah, they need to uh, hold this point, and they're charging in to hold it. I tell I telling them to get off his yard. You know, using that angry uh, Oklahoma energy. Yeah. And there's Williamson with C point. Excellent work by Williamson taking that C point. He is going to be contested now. There's a regiment there up to meet him. Rather sizable portion. And the Union, though, they've managed to repulse the Confederate attack in the center there. Bravo. And that is... Off they go. But Confederacy did manage to reclaim a flag there. They did. They recovered Although, the here, flag. Here, here comes the counterattack. Oh yeah, here comes the counterattack. And there it goes, there it goes. Union down to breaking, but they have all three points. Yep. And now, the um, they, has three minutes. They've got three minutes and they'll lose a lot of morale during this whole time, which might get them down to a draw. We'll see. Indeed, indeed. I think uh, that might be the best bet for the Union at the moment to try and force a draw. Or you know if you can if you can hold all three points, which is which is hard, but uh, it's hard, and I don't think they're going to be able to do it because if you look at C, Williamson's pulled out two regiments, three re the whole Confederate army, sir, going to move in there, take the whole point, and that's going to yep. Gonna so that'll that, that'll end the uh, counterattack, but uh, again they'll lose a whole lot of morale this whole time, and there's still seven fifty left in the match here, so yeah. it, this could still very well go to a draw. Yeah, I don't I don't think winning is in the cards for the Union, but this could no. end up in a draw. I think a win's off the table now, but a draw is still very much in the game for everyone. I don't, I don't know if we go to penalty it's shootout or, or how this works. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, topical. Football. Topical. Yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> that foosball you all play over there. In oh, yeah, yeah. With the, the, the Euro Cup. Yeah, going on. I think, I think the game's actually going on. Oh, well. Playing War of Rights instead. Yeah, you know. <laughs> See where my priorities are. <laughs> Okay, so we have a Confederate, uh, sorry, Union move down this road. New York Volunteers, uh, they've formed up. They're going to fire at the Confederates who are kind of trickling in on the right. Although AGL on the left of that, they're going to take advantage of this. And they're going to they're going to flank him, but I think Parker's going to try to oh, get out of there before yeah, that. He's, he's noticed it and he's pulled out, I believe, very wisely. And they're not really going to take that many losses from that. And no, but yeah. it's the thing I really like about that is so now they've done all their shots, so they got to get their reloads, and that buys time. Yeah, and you know, indeed. again, we got two points versus one right now. Yep. And, and William, Williamson is stage. Williamson's still poking around at sea, so they can't abandon Three. it either. And look at that morale stage. Union really making up for that morale stage deficit, taking losses there for the. Uh, yeah. This, this is this is what I get low. for trying to say the game's over so early. You know. This, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we like to jinx it here. Let's like to jinx it. And if you say something, it can go the other way. Back away from the fence, back from the fence. So that was some good movement by the uh, Union here. Um, well, it's it's it's, it's, it's much more coordinated now. I'm going to kind of stick to that theme here. It's, you know, Williamson's kind of doing his own thing, but it's in the service of everything else. And the rest of the team is kind of all working together. Yep, and there's that Union attack on the artillery once again. Yeah, distracting the guns no. against from the confederacy attack that has to face these yeah, it looks like it was first va oh, yeah. went in yep good little charge from there yeah, they they did get hit point blank range by a canister shot but okay. that's just another round that's gone into the uh attacking force rather than the uh, main union forces nope and then it's Artie's not watching c right now we'll see if williamson can take advantage he's kind of yeah. fighting fourth georgia over there right now but yeah i'm seeing a, a rather heavy presence here so two regiments of confederate forces here rather s relatively small but still a uh, a threat if you uh, do not play your cards right although it looks like williamson might be going for a charge here on c I think he knows he's got to knock C down. He's got to keep... She looks like Max been caught out in the open here. And Max going to get shot, and that is going to wipe out that entire Confederate force there. Uh, here comes the rest of the 4th Georgia, moving in to try and counter that. There goes Liam, and uh, that is a Confederate loss for the C point there. And breaking we go, and here comes the other point. Breaking. 
Down to breaking. Tickets are now evened out, so now it's anyone's game. Uh, I, you know, I, I said warnings out of the cards. I might have been wrong about that as exactly. well. Exactly. We're definitely wrong about that. That just goes to show how the uh, lot, lot of seesaw action going on this weekend. Uh, lots, a lot. Very competitive matches. You know, I wrote off this Union team in the fourth quarter. They figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hopefully they, or second uh, half, they or second half, half of quarters, I don't even know. Yeah, hopefully they don't get crucified now. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll get all kinds of shit in the comments. It'll be oh, like, yeah. oh, I'll oh, tell yeah. you're a moron. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, you, uh, you're wrong. But, no, but no, that is a very good turnaround from the uh, Union, from that very, very poor start, to be fair. Um, they've turned it around, they've, they've evened it out, they've got, well, they've got the point advantage, they've got two points, they've evened the tickets out, Confederacy, not even a point. So that's uh, well. That's well good. They, not only do they have two points, now they've got three points. It's it's you know oh, back yeah. on the counter. Yeah, there it goes. So that is that's definitely put the Confederacy on that back foot now. Um, I mean the 56th and the oh this huge force mostly 56th AGL LFL unit there. They're gonna so they're gonna be able to reclaim the C point. Yeah, but that time they're taking the C point is time you're not retaking B. So indeed, indeed, and that C point is the easiest one for the uh, Confederacy just by the uh, the spawn location. But as you can see, well, pretty much the entire Confederate army's moving to that point there, um, or at least moving out from the spawn. So there's there's pretty much no real Confederate opposition to either A or B. Well, you got Max Fears here that's trying to know, poke at him, but he doesn't have enough. Yeah, he's he's really much the only sizable portion of Confederacy left on the actual field rather than towards the spawn in the barn. You know, and, and Williamson has been doing a great job of kind of doing the rope-a-dope here. He's not getting wiped I out. He, he's keeping him engaged. He's keeping him back here. Yeah, I agree. He's definitely... I mean, they might be reclaiming them all the time, but just look what it's causing. Every time... Williamson captures that C point. I see at least two Confederate regiments, a sizable for portion of their force, divert to go and capture this. And that takes pressure off of pretty much everyone else in the Union. Yep, no, exactly. It's, it's, and I think, well, I, this might be the end of Williamson here now with these three units all collapsing in on them. But it was a great, oh, yeah. great, great distraction. Um, I just, I think I've just noticed something very interesting here. We have um, Confederate artillery. Uh, hanging out with the Union artillery over here. Oh, did they make friends? Yeah, they're, they're crewing a whole gun together. Oh, that's, 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 I'm glad they're coming together. Oh, oh no, here comes the charge. <laughs> here comes the charge. They, uh, so the Confederacy managed to crew one of the guns there and fire it at the Union artillery, which is right next to them, but they somehow missed. Uh, killed a single man. From what I can see. That's uh, Fort Georgia, too. That's Mr. Carl and your guys. Uh, yeah. It's a... Which, from what yeah, I understand, I... is not against the rules. If, a, if it's a gun no, that's screwed by the other team, no, you can capture it. To... Yeah, so from what I know from the artillery rules, you can crew a gun with three people. Uh, and it doesn't matter if it's an enemy gun. If you can crew the gun and you have the men, you can do it. Uh, obviously. Oh, he's now coming to make friends. Right, interesting. I'm going to make peace now. We do have a pretty sizable CSA yeah. infantry force moving here, but first, so, yeah, and first the, VA is right on their, their tail. Heels, on their heels is the Union. First Virginia and the New York Volunteers. They are going to move in, and they are going yeah. to... Uh... And, and to be honest, CSA is about to go to last stand here. And yeah, this that is, is, a, it, a It's about to be a Union win. That is a complete 180 from what it was just a few minutes ago. Confederacy on the back foot. And yeah, now they've got to make some desperate moves here. Yeah, I, three minutes remaining, and Confederacy's about to go down a morale stage. And Union, they're, they're just under half. Well, I mean, it's, it's not only a morale stage, it's last stand. It, it becomes harder and That's harder to do stand. anything, yeah. Um, so we'll have to see how it goes. Um, it looks like uh, Dora is going to make it to uh, A point, which is going to be uh, pretty yeah. big here. If they can stop this uh, declination here, that's going to be huge. Indeed. So it looks like we've got Union forces forming up on the fence line here at Bravo. Uh, so they're going to try and counter the incoming Confederate force. We've got... Oh, there it is. There's last stand for the Confederacy. 
So Confederates is really going to have to pull their weight here if they want to scratch a, a win here or even a draw. They're going to have to pull their weight. Well, yeah. Now, now, now they're playing for a draw. Oh. They can't win now. So the so the game, unless they yeah. wipe out every Union person, it, it's it's uh, yeah. And they it, it managed to neutralize A though. So yeah, that was big. Take down A. Um, although now yeah. now it, it actually matters a bit less now. Because yeah, and this that unit's about to die because they're going to get charged out by two whole full regiments. Yeah. Who is this? Fourth Georgia, sixth Texas. And Nora saying he holds to the last yeah. man. I mean, they're on last stand, so you know. It is going to be the last man, unfortunately, for this unit here. Yeah. I guess he's fighting for Scotland with a bunch of Spaniards, uh, apparently. Oh, there you go. Yep, yeah, as you do. And, uh, that is and some Irish oh, Irishmen coming in as well, apparently. There we go. Oh, Probably, God. yeah. Just a mishmash. Yeah, got, got a NATO contingent here, or European Union yeah. force here, or whatever they are. Definitely fun in the EU with the diversity of the uh, like the EU events with the various different nationalities. Always interesting, kind of. Ah, uh, so this this is pretty big though. The CSA is about yeah, to take. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, so CSA has completely wiped out the Union at C-Point, other than uh, Jimmy Neutron Bell here from the SB, the holding his ground like a, a true soldier. Who the fuck oh. is that? Oh. Uh, and he's decided to run away. So honestly, if the Union wanted to be cheap, they would just pull back right now. Yeah. They would they would win automatically, but... That, look at that. Look at that Confederate counterattack. Neutralizing all three points from the... Well, taking, neutralizing two points and taking a third. Yeah. That is, that's definitely a good uh, attack by the Confederacy and the Union forcing the center at B, they yeah, are this, gone. This is actually a big mistake for them. They get knocked out like this, might put the Union on last stand. Uh, yeah, um, they're about to go last stand, I believe. Eight seconds, seven seconds. If they just sit here now, seconds, uh, yeah. and they win. ESA has lost that. What a hell of a comeback. Yeah, final Very thoughts. Close. Final thoughts on that Oof. one. I think had that gone on for about five more minutes, the Confederacy would have won it. But because of that epic move by the Union at that critical stage and taking and 180 that whole game, they like with that extra coordination that they had, like they had that they had that poor coordination at the start of the game, they 180 it and well, you can see the result. It was close. It was very close at that end, but they managed to scrape a win, and casualties are just about even. Yeah, this this is the high quality conquest, man. This is what I love to see. I, this is where oh, yeah. I always tell people conquest can be freaking dynamic and fun as hell, and I, I think this shows it. Um, yeah, it's that's that, that, is, that was an interesting set of maps. That was that was some fun maps. Yeah. But I am out of the prediction business because I get it wrong too many damn times. But anyway, oh, yeah. I want to thank Mr. Fuji from the Fourth Georgia. Again, if you are looking for a regiment, I highly recommend you check out the Fourth Georgia. Uh, both yeah, NA, NAEU, RD, infantry, everything. So Yeah, eventually cavalry if it ever gets added in the year 2035. Yep. But anyway, that's it for us, and uh, we'll see you all next time. Thank you, everyone.